All right, guys, how's it going? So the day I received a new package in the mail, and it's the Elgato Wave 3. Extremely excited for this one. Just got a little B-roll here for you. Going to be talking about the specs. So yeah, enjoy. Okay, guys, so I just put everything together. It's very easy to set up. All I literally had to do was connect it into the actual computer as it is a USB. This is what it looks like. It is literally... Sorry, it's going to sound really bad, the fact that you can't hear me on the side, but it's already connected. As you can see, there is lights connecting up. It basically, just to give you some specs around it, it is obviously a condenser USB mic. It does have a zero latency monitoring, so essentially that means it just has the input into your headset as well as into the mic, so you don't have to worry about that lag as you do sometimes when you're playing games. For example, you say like, hello, and there'll be hello straight after it. It doesn't have that, which is pretty decent. You don't have to feel like you're constantly echoing yourself and then repeating and mumbling on your words. It does also have a modular mount down at the bottom. So essentially what that does is you can connect it to a boom stand. So it does ha come with an adapter. So therefore you get to connect it to anything as well. So you'd basically get to take the little mount off it at the bottom, connect to anything else, it's perfect. It does also have the touch sensitive mute at the bottom top which this is the only one that has it for the wave three where the wave one i know you the mute is the actual dial at the bottom where for the volume this has it on the top so you literally just have to slide it don't have to actually tap it which is good because you don't really technically want to do that when you're either on a video or a stream it also does have a multi-functional dial so essentially where it has that little pop at the bottom so literally as i was talking before before it has the microphone the, which is the volume of the microphone so you can hear yourself as well. It does have the one for the headphones, so you could actually hear yourself in the headphones. So basically, microphone, so you can hear the actual volume of your voice. So you obviously you turn it down, your volume of your voice goes about everything else doesn't. Then it has the volume of the overall of everything, so even on your computer. Then the other one, which as I've been looking into it, it's actually for everything. So essentially you want to dial everything down altogether instead of doing one specific thing. So it's multifunctional, as I said. Um, the price of it, I paid about $285. That's without shipping. That's in Australia. Obviously, depending on where you are, it will be different. Um, they are very, very hard to get at the moment, probably because of stock. One, because they're very, very popular, but also because of the whole pandemic. They're very, very hard to get hold of. So just to be very, very clear, this is what it sounds like with the microphone. And this is what it sounds like without the microphone. So as you can see, it does have a massive difference between the actual camera's microphone and this. It does sound a lot better. This is what the system does look like inside of the actual software. Very, very easy to get. Like I said, all I had to do was just go into the website and download it. It has the main thing here, which is obviously everything. Um, it can go into your system when you connect it. Not 100% sure how to do that yet. I still have to look into that. It can go into a music app your browser, which is obviously you can adjust solely for any internet. It does also have voice chat. So for instance, when you're connected to Discord or through anything like Skype, I guess, however, you're gonna to talk to your teammates. At the bottom, it has your output. So obviously for me, it has my computer. So I could hear everything on my computer itself and the streaming output. So that would just be, for example, you see your OBS and Twitch or however, whatever you connect it through. So even if you stream through YouTube, for example. But yeah, I mean, very, very happy with the product. It does feel very premium, even though most people will probably not be happy about the plasticky feel on the mic itself, but it still feels very, very premium. Elgato know what they're doing. But yeah, I'm very happy with it. I still have a lot to learn clearly around this to make sure I'm doing well, potentially do some more editing around the voice itself to make sure I have a more clear, more condensed sound and it's not making your ears bleed when I'm doing the video. So really looking forward to learning that. If you are happy with this type of content from me, please do give me a thumbs up or comment down below what you guys think, especially around what I've said. If you have any other questions, potentially, you could also ask me any questions on my Instagram, which is at, at Scottish Alpha. Um, and yeah, if you like this type of stuff, please subscribe. I do this every once a week at least. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.